गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स मैं नागपाउन कुमार आई एम डेलिंग द स्विचिंग थ्री एंड लॉजिक डिजाइन सब्जेक्ट फॉर योर सेकेंड ईयर फर्स्ट सेमिस्टर लेट अस इंट्रोड्यूस माई सेल्फ माई नेम इज एस एस नागपाउन कुमार डे आई एम वर्किंग एन असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ एसी इन विज्ञान लारा इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी एंड साइंस and about myself i did my phd in during my phd in uh, digital image processing and i did my mtech in vlsi system design and i did my btech in ece and i did my diploma in uh, biomedical engineering and i guided more than the 40 ug level projects and 5 pg level projects and my areas of research is biomedical engineering and vlsi system design present i am doing in digital image processing next so coming to the switching theory and logic design what is meant by switching theory and logic design first we will see the justification so coming to here switching theory so see here see this picture carefully so what happened here so when the switch is in the off state there is no glow in the bulb so when there is a switch is on the state then there is a glow in the bulb that is on condition off condition the on condition i am representing one the off condition i am representing zero so here we have two types of operations so the first one is off condition off i am representing as zero and on i am representing with one so here i have here i have only two condition that is off condition second one is on condition so this is the switching operation switching means on and off only two situations are here here we have in the switching operation next coming to the logics for example why we are using for switching so switching for on and off of light or fan or on and off tv or any different types of application so for light we have on and off operation for fan we have on and off operation for tv we have on and off operation for ac we have on and off operation all the devices are operating with on and off conditions that is the switching operation is same but different types of logics here we have ac logic tv logic fan logic like we have different types of logic so so we have multiple logic so our subject name is switching theory and logic design by using switching theory we have to develop different types of logics so that is our subject type Right. Next, coming to the objectives of our course. So here, the first objective. So to solve a typical number-based conversion and analyze new error coding technique. That is, uh, coming to that switching operation. We have different types of switching operations. On uh, our branch is electronics and communication engineering. In our electronics and communication, we are designing different types of electronic systems. So that is, we are operating with the systems. With the, we are operating with uh, some machines. So. for the machine purpose we have different types of number systems so in the first object what it says we have we are, we are going to learn different types of number systems and we will see the conversion from one number system to another number system this is the first object to next coming to the second object to so after conversion of this number system we have some of the basic arithmetical and logical operation so this boolean algebra and this logic gates they will provide some of the arithmetical operation and some of the logical operations that is the second objective and third objective what we are going to learn in the third objective is to optimize the logic gates for digital circuits using various technique okay so whatever the function we required here we have some of the basic operation with the basic operation we have some of the problems so we will see some of the digital circuits and how they will design by using logic gates how they will design by using logic gates this concept will be the, this uh, this type of activity we will see in this third course object too and coming to the fourth one boolean function simplification using carnap maps and mc queen classical methods so when you are writing a function you will get a big size functions for example if you have three inputs you will get a small size equation if you have 
100 inputs you will get a big number of uh, uh, informations big lines of uh, code you will get so the that may big size of code may be uh, one type of loss in the designing or fabrication of the system why because it requires huge amount of power it requires more amount of time to compute the operation so for that reason we have to reduce that uh, size of the system without changing any input any changing output okay so disturbing the output we have to reduce the size of the system that is the very 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 important activity for that reason we are using Karnoff map method and we are using Queen MC Klesky method by using these two methods we are reducing the size but we are not changing the system functionality that is the very very important and next these two are very very important objectives why because these are the basics and these are the final our course objectives for designing any type of digital system so any type of digital system is consists of two types of circuit so the first one combination circuit the second one sequential circuit so coming to the first one to understand the concepts of combination circuit first you have to understood what are the different types of basic combination circuits are available in the digital circuit that is very very important next coming to here by using this combination circuits we will design different types of sequential circuits so our target is to develop advanced sequential circuits so is to develop different types of sequential circuits by using all these remaining course objectives so these are our course objectives we will see clearly these objective details in the coming classes okay next so coming to our first unit so our first unit uh, is nothing but as review of number systems and course this is a our first unit title review of number systems and course so coming to the syllabus of this first unit this is the first i have divided this complete for our unit into three parts the first part review of number system second part four bit course third part error detection and correction course this is the first part and second part third part for the for, uh, the first part it will take uh, five to six classes and the second part it will take one to two classes and third part it will take uh, three to four classes three to four classes okay so i'm completion uh, for completing this uh, uh, first unit we required nearly <coughs> 10 to 14 hours 10 to 14 hours we required coming to the first part so the first part review of number system in this representation of numbers of different radics and their conversion in this concept we will see different types of number systems which are available for operating the machines okay next we will see the conversions of number system we will convert those numbers from one system to another system that we will see in this first tutorial next coming to that r minus one's complement and r's complement of signed numbers so coming to here we we have a special operation very attractive operation that is called complements operation we choosing that complement operation we will do a lot of uh, different types of uh, logical operation that we will see in this topic so this is the first topic of uh, the first uh, review of number system portion next second four bit codes we have types of binary codes we, we, we have maximum we are operating in this uh, digital subject binary codes so those binary codes uh, we have different types of uh, uh, systems well, those systems are divided with four bit codes that four bit codes first one vcd access 3 to 4 to 1 8 4 minus 2 minus 1 codes etc so these codes are very very important those are also we will see next coming to that third one error detection and correction codes in this parity checking even parity odd parity hamming code these all the error detection and correction codes are helpful in a communication system to transmit the data without any errors to transmit the data without any errors we need some of the error detection and correction codes those co codes also we will see in this first unit this is about the our complete first unit syllabus next uh, I, I said that so many times number system number system number system what is meant by number system what is meant by a number system right the answer is it is a system for representing numerical values or quantities using different symbols for example if you are counting chocolates 
Okay, how many chocolates you will count? For example, here in your box, we have some of the chocolates. When you are counting, you will start the counting from 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, like that you will calculate. Okay, for example, in that box, 5 chocolates may be available. In that box, maybe 8 chocolates are available, 15 chocolates are available. Some number will be available. So, you are using some symbols. So, you are saying that you are drawing some number. You are drawing some number like this and you are saying this is 5 you are saying this is 5 and you are drawing some symbol and you are saying that is 8 okay like that for our normal daily life community we have 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 in our number system, we have different symbols. How many how many symbols here we have? Totally 10 symbols we have. Here we have totally 10 symbols. After name, you will get one zero. That is 10. The 10 is we are forming with the help of this one and this zero. Okay. After that, you will get 11. This is also you are forming with the help of this basic symbols. So this is the very very important activity. So you have to check the different symbol. Uh, they will not repeat uh, again. Okay. So totally you have 10 different symbols. This is our normal number system for counting purpose or for doing daily activities. Whatever it may be here you are using this number system. This is called decimal number system. So our basic number systems are is nothing but as decimal number system we know already we are using in our uh, daily life next one into that binary so generally binary number system is called machine level uh, number system so in this binary number system we have 0 and 1 we have only 0 and 1 only two types of uh, numbers are available 0 and 1 so for that reason I am represented I am using here two different symbols in the decimal number system I am using uh, 0 to 9 so for that reason I have written 10 I have written 10 in decimal we have 10 different symbols in binary we have two different symbols next coming to the octal in octal now we have 0 to 7 0 to 7 0 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 we have up to 7 only there is no 8 there is no 9 there is no 8 there is no 9 in this octal number system this is very very important that we will discuss deeply in the coming classes next coming to hexadecimal we have 0 to 9 after when you will get 8 you don't get 10, you will get A, next B, next C, next D, next E, next F. After that, you will get 10. After that, you will get 10. So, this is the hexadecimal system. See here, 0 to 9, we know that 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Totally, you will get 16 different symbols in this hexadecimal system. Those details we will see. Those details we will see clearly in the coming classes. Right. Next. So I said that uh, in our in my lecture so many times. So, so digital, digital, digital. Okay. So what is meant by a digital digital signal? In in the in our uh, electronics and communication branch, we have majorly two types of signals. The first one analog signal. Second one is digital signal. Our subject is completely focused on the digital signals only. So we are focusing on this. So we are completely focusing on the digital signals. We are not focusing on this analog signal. Our subject is mainly concentrating on the digital signal, not analog signal. But if you want to know the digital signal, if you want to know the digital signal, you have to understand the operation of analog signal. So our voice is an analog signal. So almost all whatever the information voice signal or maybe any feeling or for example, the cold air you are feeling, the hot temperature you are feeling, each and every information in this uh, match is analog only. You are converting that information into digital. So the analog signals uh, are seems to be like this. The digital signals are seems to be like this. I have mentioned here, see here, analog signal, digital signal. The analog signal is seems to be a continuous signal, but the digital signal seems to be as a, some discrete information. Here is information is available, here information is available. In between there is no information. That is, this is a, it has a continuous response, but it has some discrete response. Discrete response, you have written analog system. The physical quantities or signals may vary continuously over a specified range. For example, this is 0 and this is 10. In between this range, in between 
this range, we have the continuous information. So, in the same way, I am defining the digital signal also in, in between a range. There is no continuous information, there is completely discrete information. So, here the digital system, the physical quantities are signals can assume only discrete values. It has a greater accuracy, it has very less accuracy. How this accuracy is changing? I said that this is poor accuracy and this is the greater accuracy that we will see in the coming class. Next. So, this is an analog signal. So, this analog signal <laughs> I am converting into digital signal. This is the concept of evolution of digital signal. How you will get the digital signal from analog signal? Uh, this is completely a subject called uh, some digital communication that you will get in the third year. Presently, just I will uh, give the rough overview how to convert analog signal to digital signal. So, this is a complete analog signal. In this complete analog signal, I have taken some period of times. I am taking here some period of times. See here, here I have taken some uh, some at some period some time periods. I have some uh, taken totally see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Totally 19 values I am taking in the <laughs> in this uh, analog signal. So, in this analog signal, actually here we have continuous of information, infinite uh, inf uh, values are available in this continuous signal. But in the discrete signal, I have taken only 19 values, I have taken only 19 values. Now, I have removed that analog portion, now I have taken the signal in this fashion. In the signals for our uh, understanding purpose, uh, I am taking any one of the value, here I am taking the value of this one, okay, for example, 6 volts is available. So, the 6 volts uh, I have to write in the digital information, I have to write into the machine level language. So, for that reason, I am using a number system called binary. Here, I am using a number system called binary. This is the binary number system and this is the <coughs> decimal number system. Okay, decimal number system is nothing but as our normal 6. I said that machine level number information system that is called binary that is 0, double, 1, 0. So, 6 equivalent number is 0, double, 1, 0, 0, double, 1, 0. So, this is the binary current. How this number will, uh, we got, we got. So, that we will see in the next class only. Right? Next. So, coming to here, that 6, 0, double, 1, 0, we are writing in this way. 0, 1, 1, 0. 0 means, see here, this is a, uh, this is the graph we are representing here and the x-axis we are representing time and here the, on the y-axis uh, we are representing the voltage. This is the voltage and this is the time. So, here the for example coming to here, this is 5 volts and this is 0 volts. He, here I have mentioned the same information. So, see here, I have drawn the signal here, 0 volts. 0 I am representing with 0 and I have representing with some 5 volts. This is logic 1. This is also 5 volts, no, some logic 1 and this is 0. So, 0, 1, 1, 0. So, the whatever the information here we have, that is we are representing with signal in this way. So, this is the signal called digital signal. This is the signal called digital signal. Right. So, this is one more example of digital signal. This is one more example of digital signal. 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1. In this way, we have different types of digital signals. So, coming to the digital signal, the logic 1, the logic 1 and logic 0 here we have. So, the logic 1 is generally we are representing as 5 volts. And logic 0 in general we are representing as 0 volts. Okay. So, the complete details we will see in the coming classes. Right. So, in the next class we will start with the uh, concept of number systems. Okay, so the decimal number system, binary number system, octal number system, hexadecimal system. Wha what is this four number systems and how to represent the numbers uh, of these four number systems in a general way that we will see in the coming classes. After that, we will see the conversion of number system. That is, uh, a number will be available in the decimal system. What is the equivalent number in the binary? The, uh, what is the equivalent number in octal? What is the equivalent number in hexadecimal? That we will see in the coming classes. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much.